What the heck? What happened to my barrel? It's a very, very short little barrel. And this is a 177 compact. All right. Let's give you guys a little bit more detail around this. This looks interesting. Okay, folks. So a couple of things happened. I was on my way to the HFT Worlds in Turkey and obviously COVID happened. So I had a couple of bucks to spare. I had my plane ticket booked, I had my accommodation booked, I had all my expenses wrapped up and lo and behold everything gets cancelled. So what must a boy do? <laughs> That's interesting. Buy a new toy. What else? All right. So what I've got here, this is the 0.177 yeah I know it's not a 2.2 for those high power nuts out there this is a 177 but what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot it in high power none of this sub 12 foot pound sorry UK crap that you have to battle with this one is gonna go sonic and supersonic and subsonic and all of the sonics and even sonic the hedgehog for all I care so watch this I'm gonna do a couple of experiments with this and then we'll see the question I needed answering is that, is there a place for a 177 in high power in the world? With sub 12 foot pounds being basically the competition gun of choice and all the competitions restricting you, it's only the bench rest guys that shoot at 18 foot pounds. In other words, they've got the heavy varmint that they can look at and it's 25 meter paper shooting. How boring can you get? So I'm going to try something quite different. I'm going to take my little compact and the first thing you'll see is that I took off that silly sample of a silencer that they had on there. That's just a, oh, what do you call it? A bracket of air. And I put on a decent silencer on here. And this is a clover leaf silencer. Thanks to the guys at Patriot. A good friend of mine, Gerard Genade, won this at the last league. And he sponsored me with this little silencer. So I'm so going to test out the silencer today as well. So that's the setup. 0.177 compact, small little bottle but there's a couple of questions we need answering first and foremost i want to look at the shot count if i go high power instead of sub 12 foot pound um, maybe not today i don't have enough time to do both those exercises but most important is there room for a high power 0.177 in the world so what i'm going to do is i've got 10 different pallets to test today so believe it or not this might be quite a long video I'm going to look at three different pellets in the 8.44 grain category. I'm going to look at one in the 9.6 category. I'm going to look at three of them in the 10.4 or 10.3 to 10.6 grain category. I've got a 13 grainer, I've got a 16 grainer, and then I've got a slug. I've got a 0.177 slug that weighs in at around about 13.6 grain. So I will have enough power in this gun to really give them a little bit of oomph and see if they stabilize and at what speed is optimal for those heavier pallets and the slug of course. Hang in there, we're gonna have some fun. Right, so how this high power testing is gonna work, I'm gonna shoot my gun off power wheel settings one all the way up to max. First up, I'm gonna shoot the three lightweight pallets. So I'm gonna start off with around about 815 feet a second. So that's already just above 12 foot pound. And then I'm going to take it up the ladder all the way up to the maximum setting and it should shoot around about 980 thereabouts on the maximum setting. I'll give the sub foot pounds as well as we go along to give you guys an indication of the power setting on the gun. So first up, it's going to be the JSB Exacts in 8.44. Then we're going to shoot the Air Arms coming out of the same factory. Yes, I know, but different die set, maybe different accuracy. Let's have a look. And then I'm going to shoot the H&N Field Target Trophies. These are in 8.64 grain, so they might be a little bit slower, but let's see how these guys handle the speed as well as consistency, because that's the key word today, is looking for consistency right through the power ranges, right through ac accuracy. I do not want these uh, to open up the groupings at all. I'm only shooting at 30 meters. There's barely any wind, so wind is not a factor today. I want to test what can they do at speed. Do they destabilize at 30 meters, yes or no? And if the tests are successful and I feel confident taking them out to 50 meters, I will. <laughs> I don't like that one. I will. Before we begin, a couple of disclaimers first and some interesting stuff. First and foremost, this gun is brand spanking me out of the box. I didn't do any setup changes to it. So the accuracy test or whatever accuracy you see today, 
this is how a first time shooter with a new gun will see that all right so i did not put a thousand pellets through the barrel this is quite fresh out of the box the second thing is i absolutely love these mags 38 shots i don't even have to change magazines in my 30 shots that i'm going to see so that is a nice heads up and then for the moderators out there this is a controlled environment this is an official shooting range and all the necessary COVID protocols as well as shooting safety protocols has been followed all right enough jibber jabber let's hit some paper targets jsb's 8.44s in 4.52 power setting one all the way up to max I must say this trigger out of the box is crap. I'll readjust it after the shooting today. Ugh, hate it. Oh well, that's quite impressive. So the maximum shooting was around about 995 feet per second. I had six shots there, five of them are clover leaf on the paper with one slight flyer that might have been me. But overall, throughout all the, the speed settings, these 8.44s on 30 meters performed exceptionally well. I actually expected the gun to shoot a lot faster. To have a power setting one out of the box at 12.2 foot pound, nah, not really what I was expecting. It was shooting my 18 grainers a heck of a lot faster with a 600 mm barrel but let's work with what we've got so right through all the power settings from 12.2 foot pound all the way up to 18.4 foot pound some decent decent groupings at 30 meters i'll go and try and replicate that at uh, 50 meters as well but that's some decent grouping i can't complain about that 990 i think that's around about the limit for these pellets on a shorter distance i think on a longer distance they're going to spiral and do all funny and weird things air arms So not the same results with the air arms as I got with the JSBs. So that's the difference between different batch numbers. Both of them in 4.52s. And if I look at that, the air arms were slightly slower at the maximum at 990. Not a heck of a big difference, but slightly slower. If I look at that grouping, some awesome, awesome groupings there in the 975 category thereabouts. I'll put the correct numbers up for you guys just now. Uh, initial thought patterns nah let's try something else let's go for the h and n's nothing spectacular there from the air arms um, some nice groupings at 960 feet per second but the rest was nah ifish all right let's give these h and n's a go and these will be the h and n field target trophies in 8.64 barracuda fts in 8.64 grain That's why I load an extra pellet. For those guys seeing the shot in the bottom right corner, I had the wrong power setting, so I just shot that one out. Power setting one. Let's try again. Okay, so the h and n's actually performed exceptionally well there was one small opening of the grouping at 985 feet per second but the five other uh, speed settings very decent let's go and measure up give you guys the results of the 8.44s life is like a box of chocolates always full of surprises so the h and n field target trophies in 8.64 grain were faster out of the barrel than the air arms and the jsbs starting off at 855 feet per second or 14 foot pounds that's about two pounds stronger if that's the right terminology than the air arms and the jsb out of the barrel 
Grouping was exceptional, but they opened up at the highest speed, but we also saw that at, with the air arms as well. Very, very interesting. Let's go on to the next patch. Now we're moving over to the slightly heavier pallets. This is the Barracuda FTs, and these are the hand-selected quality in 9.57 grain. Exactly the same settings as with the 8.44s. I haven't done any changes. I'm still on the same barrel. Everything hunky-dory. Let's give it a rip. That was quite interesting. Um, maximum speed I reached there was about 939, now there's one 951 feet per second. But the weird thing about the H&Ns in 9.57s, they were very, very accurate up until 900 feet, plus minus give and take a few feet. Above 950 feet or 900 feet per second, they started to spiral. I could even see the spiral on 30 meters. So they don't like the higher speeds, but that's how we learn. But I'm still going to take them out to 50 meters just to double check my findings. All right, let's um, give the heavier pallets a go. And if I can't get enough speed out of them, I will have to do something special. Watch this space. The Barracuda FTs grouped a lot better at the slower speeds. Around about eight, up to 880 feet per second. That was a decent grouping right there. But the moment I went faster than 900 feet a second, it started to open up and I could actually see the pallet spiral at one stage. But that's not all I have to test today. There's some heavies. So hold on to your hats. Don't click yet. Here we go. To move over to the fatties, the heavies. And this is the JSB Exacts, heavy in 10.34. From a 30 meter perspective, wow, I just love that. Straight out of the box, all speeds, brilliant, brilliant groupings. Hmm, not too shabby, JSB heavies. Maximum speed there, around about 926 feet per second. Awesome, awesome groupings. Really no need for me to blabber about this. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. With a maximum speed there of 923 per foot per second average, a 19.6 foot pound, that is just unbelievable i see some room here for high power but i don't think high power in excess of 20 foot pound on 177s let's test them a little bit further and see if my theory, theory is correct air arms 10.34 for a fly there on the maximum speed but at speed number five oh my greatness what a great grouping air arms not too bad at 30 meters either last one to go the barracuda matches in 10.65 grain let's give it a rip the jsbs and the air arms are giving me a heck of a lot of hope for high power 177s with the immaculate grouping at just over 900 feet per second and even under that right through the box and i shoot these guys sub 12 foot pound as well when i do ft so from 780 feet per second all the way to 920 feet per second immaculate grouping i just can say one word wow last of the 10 grainers and this is the h and barracuda matches 10.65 let's see what they do out of this little short beast of mine Wow, again a brilliant grouping at power setting 5. The one thing I did notice is that um, I think I got a, a batch of pallets that's not 100% correct. Some of the skirts in the back had a little bit of flailing on, so it might be where I, where I got one or two flyers. 
but the rest of the groupings hmm, not too bad i can live with that 30 meters anytime let's go and measure up and give you guys the final results the barracudas like speed let's be honest about it when i shot these in my sub 12 foot pound gun they did not group as accurate as now so definitely a big thumbs up for higher power on the 177s with the barracudas some more testing to go hold on we're not done yet so this is where we're going to stop with part one in part two i'm changing over to the 600 millimeter barrel to give myself that little bit of more heating power because i'm going to shoot 13 grainers 16 grainers and then a 177 slug as well so watch out for the next video part two will be released soon thanks for watching enjoy like subscribe Tell your friends, please, I need sponsors. That's all, folks.